So first and foremost, um, the hub is very much uh, a community. So we are probably the largest community of entrepreneurs and social entrepreneurs in Singapore. Secondly, we provide a co-working space. Um, right now, we can fit 100 people at any one point in time in our 5,000 square feet space in Orchard. Um, but we are expanding to a second space where we will triple the size. The hub also emphasizes a lot on content, on skill upgrades, on knowledge, on collaboration. So every month we have about 15 to 20 events. Um, so almost every weeknight there is something here going on. And we have incubation programs um, in collaboration with DBS, with the National Youth Council. Um, who that will seed fund and also provide non-financial support to social entrepreneurs from all over Singapore. Um, we also have coaching and mentoring sessions um, where some of the best entrepreneurs and uh, venture capitalists and angel investors provide one-on-one -on -one time with hubbers and that's really rare if you're new in this sector as well so um, we, we, we do believe in a increasing the chances of you meeting the right person for you. Yeah, the support for startups and entrepreneurship in Singapore has um, been very, very optimistic, um, especially in the last six years where this movement has really taken off. I mean, globally, um, Singapore is now the top eight um, startup ecosystems to be in globally. And you know, after the big ones like Silicon Valley and Tel Aviv in the, in the top two, um, we're, we're, not, we're not far back behind um, and it's more nascent in Singapore. So evidently, um, the government has done a lot in trying to encourage and promote um, a career path in, in entrepreneurship, which is um, you know, a little bit more contradictory to uh, what the Singapore economy has been used to. Um, so, so that's great. There has been a lot of policies and grants and um, intermediary support from the government level. Um, yeah, Singapore has gone a long way in trying to develop and grow the startup ecosystem here. The government and, and politicians in Singapore have definitely recognized the importance of having homegrown entrepreneurs and successful ventures from Singapore. So they have created a lot of um, policies and grant programs and infrastructures and spaces like Block 71 and um, our partnership with the government at the hub here as well to provide that um, platform for the emergence of, of startups and ventures. And I think the most exciting part would be the emergence of self-organized communities from, from the citizens of Singapore and from people who have made Singapore home. They have self-organized around passion areas such as the social entrepreneurs, the makers community, the environmental activists, the, the, um, the tech startups, the programmers, the women entrepreneurs, you know, just to name a few. These communities have arised and they are they are doing amazing things and we see that a lot at Hub um, because you know in a month we have 15 to 20 events and a lot of these communities use our space to to grow their mission so all in all you know from all angles um, it is a very exciting uh, place to be it is an amazing country to come and start a social venture uh, and, a, and, a, and a tech startup um, so I would highly encourage uh, people to consider Singapore The first tip I would give to an aspiring entrepreneur is really to find a group of people um, who will support you in your journey, the tribe who will, who's like-minded but has diverse skills and um, experiences because um, being an entrepreneur can be a very lonely journey and sometimes people who are closest to you might not get you. The second tip would be that um, try to understand a problem deeply. I think in Singapore, where it's almost a perfect city, it is um, difficult to find the elements of problems in a very graphic and at your face kind of way. So we really have to work hard in understanding and deeply empathizing with the problem or issue area that we're trying to solve before we jump into a solution. I think the third one is um, the realization that we are actually part of a historical global movement. The movement of entrepreneurship, startups, social entrepreneurship, where people are putting money behind just an idea. This itself is 
groundbreaking. You know, in the past, um, this mentality was not common, right? Um, so now people are backing up young change makers, young entrepreneurs with just an idea and a huge passion um, to, to kind of test out the ideas to make it successful. So whenever you feel lonely and about to give up or you feel stuck, just remember that you're part of a bigger movement globally. There are many, many like you, and there are many even more out there who want to help. So just reach out um, and, and ask for help.